The Green Umbrella, a ladybird book. Once upon a time a bunny lived beside the deep blue sea. Once upon a sunny morning, lovely for a swim, said he. Timmy ran to tell the others having breakfast down below. Hurry up, it's grand for swimming. Come on boys, you're very slow. So they gobbled up their breakfast and they gobbled much too fast. Bluebell, Bunny, always hungry, nearly always finished last. Off they went to Cousin Mary's. Mary lived at number 10, found the house was shut and silent banged upon the door and then went inside. Oh, what a bed for. What a bunch of bunny boys with a row of ears and noses and the snoring. What a noise. Timmy pulled the bedclothes from them, startled bunny, stared at him and a row of ears uplifted. Heard him say, come on! and swim. Then they went to Cousin Mary, told her what they wished to do. Bluebell's mind was still on breakfast and she found the carrots too. At the cupboard, Cousin Mary looked for something nice to eat while the little bunnies watched her, hoping there'd be something sweet. Then she packed a lovely basket, sandwiches and slabs of cake, bread and jam and juicy apples. Bluebell thought, am I awake? Tim could hardly lift the basket packed with such a lovely feast. Why, he said, we've tons of apples, anyway a pound at least. Bluebell gazed upon the basket, said, I'll help you with the food. Two of us will make it easy. And Tim said, all right, if you're good. Off they went across the seashore, waving spades with shouts of glee. Then they saw the green umbrella, said, whatever can it be? Boys, it's a green umbrella. Ricky said, let's open it. And they did with quite a struggle. Now, let's find a place to sit. Underneath their green umbrella, like a tent, they sat at last. Timmy tied his spotty hanky like a flag, flag upon a mast. Now, said Timmy, lunch is ready, much to Bluebell's great delight. And the row of hungry bunnies really was a happy sight. Timmy said, when lunch was ended, some can paddle, some can swim. Off came shoes and coats, but Bluebell said, I'd rather sit here, Tim. Tim said, oh. You are a baby, and led them down towards the sea. With the ball, the others followed. Ricky, can you catch? said he. Bluebell came and tried the water, touched it with her little toe, found it much too cold and said so. Back the baby had to go. But beneath the green umbrella, Bluebell didn't mind at all. She was busy with an apple. Oh, let them play at silly ball. Everyone was very happy, till they heard a sudden shout, saw the green umbrella blowing up and down and round about. Bluebell, clinging to the handle, 
bumped and rolled upon the beach. Everybody ran to save her, but she floated out of reach. Up it sailed the green umbrella, up and out towards the sea. Bluebell held the handle grimly, thinking, Oh, I'll be late for tea. Open mouthed, the other bunnies watched her sailing overhead, held their breath and watched her sadly. Bluebell will be drowned, they said. Floating in the green umbrella, Bluebell thought it rather fun. Wasn't much afraid of drowning, but she thought she'd like a bun. Shorewards came the green umbrella, gently floating on the tide. Timmy used his spade to pull her. Bluebell said that was a ride. Soon packed up, they wandered homeward, leaving sun and sand and sea. And a lonely green umbrella. Bluebell thought, hooray for tea.